Hi, Ivana. So, been thinking about this conference, Communication Beyond Boundaries, and this is just something I did just for myself to try to get some semblance of understanding about what, what the issues are. And um, so, anyway, the idea of crossing social and uh, social, political, and cultural boundaries is um, seems to be the theme that they're looking for. And I'm not saying that we should present this. Again, it's just how I'm thinking about it. So what are, the, what are the issues here in crossing boundaries? First, you know, what is a boundary? Line that marks the limit of an area, a dividing line. Uh, they could be um, pretty oppressive, such as the North Korea, South Korea boundary line. Or they can be semi-permeable. And uh, on the left here is an example, I guess, of, you know, it could be skin holding back certain noxious elements, letting others in. And on the right hand side is the uh, Swiss cheese model, which has been used to describe how um, patient errors take place. So the, the different slices of the Swiss cheese present the, the defenses and the holes represent the, uh, the, the latent and uh, actual problems that could come up. And it could be about, you know, poor communication, um, difficult patients, failure of equipment when all the, all, the, all the lines or all the holes of the Swiss cheese line up, then there's a big problem. So sometimes um, boundaries really can't keep things out that you want to keep out. And then this is, uh, I'm kind of fascinated by this personally. Uh, this represents uh, upper left hand corner, the um, four corners area of the U.S. where Utah, Colorado, Arizona, and New Mexico come together and it's just a very strange place. You know, you'll, I've been to this monument several times and you'll see people doing this. They'll be lying down at the boundary lines as if they're actually in four states, as if that actually means anything. But the area encompasses an area that's virtually boundaryless under the old Navajo Nation way of thinking about things, where they didn't have boundaries, they didn't have fences, it was um, just open territory. And so the idea here is that boundaries are very much made up, they're, 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 they're conceptual in origin, and gets into the area of, uh, you know, professional boundaries, what are, you know, professional boundaries, of course, you need some boundaries in order to, um, Oh, I guess make sure that you remain ethical and and so forth. Um, but I started to think of is how SPs describe how they achieve standardization a form of boundary crossing. And so here I kind of made this chart up just for myself again. I'm just trying to think about what the issues are. Uh, the upper part is you know what are standardized patients required to do to be standardized, and they have to deal with the the forces of standardization, which uh, again, these are all made up. You know, a lot of these boundary issues are completely constructed, and then we construct these things, and then we live in them. So the the forces of standardization external to the SP include the training and the assessment objectives, and we've talked about the high need for uh, high stake scoring requires high standardization. Um, the trainer, him or herself who interpret and direct the action, protocols, the case, you know, which is the script, the training materials, um, which kind of guide the action, the 50 or 60 year tradition of using standardized patients in this way, um, to me represent a force of standardization. Um, now below that are the, um, the, where the tension is, is the, the forces of variation, uh, if the uh, standardization forces are external to the SP, the forces of variation are internal to the SP, I think. Their life experience, their gender, culture, media, their physicality, their personal identity, their personality, and so forth. So this might encompass how they maintain a standard. And in between is the the culture strategy boundary that is 
semi-permeable, I guess. There, there, there's definitely forces of standardization pushing back the forces of variation. Uh, and then SPs push back. And as the saying goes, culture eats strategy for lunch. So the strategy of standardization is met by the culture of the people that actually have to maintain the standard. Anyway, <laughs> that's my little, uh, my little story up to this point. Hope this makes sense.